Here we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve a problem involving uh, Wile E. Coyote and the Roadrunner. So, uh, Coyote is going to shoot himself out of a cannon on a 50-foot cliff using an initial velocity of 140 feet per second. And we want to know how long will it take him to hit the ground below. Okay, so once he launches himself, he'll be a falling object. So this will be our formula. And we're looking for the time because it says how long. So our ending height, he'll end up on the ground, so that'll be zero. We're solving for the t. Our initial velocity is 140. And our initial height is 50. Okay. So when we go to use the quadratic formula, because we have a zero here, we want to solve this. Our A will be negative 16, our B will be 140, and our C will be 50. Okay, so we have T equals okay, negative B, so negative 140, plus and minus, okay, B squared, so 140 squared, minus 4 times our a, which is negative 16, times our c, which is 50. All this divided by 2 times our a value, which is negative 16. Alright, now, that's the first step. We're going to plug a, b, and c into the formula. The next step is we're going to simplify what we can. So we're going to leave the negative 140 out front, plus or minus. And now we're going to calculate all this in parentheses. Be careful that you use the minus with the 4 and the negative with the 16. So if we punch that into the calculator, we get 140 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times 50. And this comes out with 22,800. And then at this step, we're also going to do the 2 times the negative 16 and get the negative 32 on the bottom. Okay, next step is, since we're dealing with a, a time, we want an answer with a time, we're going to get a decimal answer. So what we're going to do now is uh, put this in the calculator and get a decimal answer for that. So we'll change to the approximation symbol because we will be rounding off. Okay, so the square root of 22,800 is about 151. It came out 150.9966, so it's pretty close. We'll just call it 151 over negative 32. And the last step is we're just going to do these two parts. Okay, we're going to calculate negative 140 plus the 151 over negative 32. And then at the same time, we're going to calculate negative 140 and then do the minus the 151 all over negative 32. And that should be approximately also. All right, so this first one, when we do the addition, we get negative 140 plus 151 is 11. Divide it by negative 2, we get about negative 0.34 seconds. And then when we do the minus, we have negative 140 minus 151, which is negative 291, all over negative 32, which comes out to be about 9.1 seconds. And since we're dealing with time, the negative number doesn't make any sense. So in this situation, it would take 9.1 seconds for the coyote to land on the ground.